Now I'm going to show you how to create a measure table. Now why you would create a measure table is what happens when you create a lot of these measures is they can get muddled in with all these other tables and you can get lost and they're hard to find, they're hard to reference. Um, especially if you create a lot of them because what will happen is you will. You'll create maybe 10, 15, 20 measures in a model and uh, you want them to be catalogued in a nice way so they're very easy to find, very easy to reference if you want to then use them or utilize them in a, a particular visual or in your report. So the way you can catalog them is by creating what's called measure tables. So the way you create a measure table is you, you come up to the home tab and there's an enter data icon. So you select that and it brings up a pop-up box here where we're going to create a table with basically nothing in it. I'm going to put a one there because we're going to put something, but basically there's nothing in this table. So I'm going to call it key measures and then I'm going to go load. And then that is going to now load into my model. Now you see here that it's appeared on the right hand side in the field section. And if we come to the data modeling section, you'll also see that it's appeared here. But the one thing to note is that this table has absolutely no relation or relationships to anything in the actual physical data model. So it's just going to uh, be placed on the side here. And then we're going to start sending our measures to this or create measures in this table. So let's actually put our first measure inside that table. So we've got our measure here. We've got total quantity, which is a very simple measure. And we're now going to move it into this key measures table. And so the way you do that is you select the measure, come up to modeling, and then you select which home table you want that measure to be in. In this case, it's going to be key measures. To finish it off, we just need to hide this column because it's a nothing column. And then this arrow here, just click it twice, and then you'll see that the calculator appears for this particular table. And that signifies that it's now a measure table. I've no doubt that this will be made uh, it, will, it should be made a lot easier to do, but it's just a few steps that you need to um, you need to implement to actually get that to work. But now you'll see that this measure now sits within this table, and we can just create more and more measures in here, and we don't have to worry about any of the any of the columns that exist in our and you know, getting confused between a measure and a column, etc.